Hello, Hope Factory. Hey, Salem. I'm so glad you guys can join us. We are continuing our series on apologetics for breakfast. We've already talked about the idea of cause and effect, that God calls this earth to be in existence and that the effect of that is us. So God is the cause and we are now the flourishing and we are the effect. We talked a lot about personal testimony, what that means, and how important your personal testimony, the one just like Paul gave before King Agrippa in the books, book of Acts, really helped to defend his faith. And so today, we're going to talk about what apologetics, the word, actually means. It's a biblical word. It comes out of scripture. Uh, apo, the first part, means uh, from or away. And then logos, the second part, means a words or it is a reply and defense. And so knowing this, this should empower you that we have been commanded actually by scripture uh, to actually defend our faith. Deuteronomy 6, 5 talks about that we should love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, and mind, that everything within us should push us to a place where we want to experience God on every level possible. And so how important it is for us to make sure that we know our faith, know what we believe in, and know what to defend. Apologetics, this defense of faith, faith we get to see in Acts 22.1, where it talks about to listen and to defend. Uh, Philippians 1 7 talks about uh, defending and affirming the gospel. There are four parts, four major parts to apologetics. The first one is doctrine. The second one is how that Christian doctrine then meets the world. The third one is the climate and culture that we want to influence. And the fourth part is are the new eyes, hopefully, by the transformation of this new information. And so doctrine, what is doctrine? Doctrine is what we uh, formulate and believe as Christians from what we receive from our chief revelations, the scripture. So from uh, the scriptures, we can read through and see, wow, we can develop a doctrine, a classification about how the Bible speaks to say angels or the afterlife or the life of Jesus or sin. And so by examining these certain topics, these certain doctrinal topics, we're able to then develop a systematic approach to how we understand the scriptures. The second part is that we use that doctrine then to be able to speak to a real world. We use that doctrine to speak real truth. Uh, systematic theology is how we frame together in a system our doctrine so that it makes logical, reasonable sense when we begin talking about how God's special revelation of the scriptures speaks good news into the real world or helps us with apologetics to defend ourselves in a real world. Then it's the climate and the culture. We want our apologetics. We want our defense of the faith to actually influence the culture, to change the climate, the social climate, the psychological climate of what people are dealing with. We want it for the fourth part to give people a new pair of eyes. In the scriptures, it talks a lot about how when you become a new creation, you see things differently and how important it is for us to come in light of this reason of faith and how it changes our approach to how we live. The Bible is a part of Christian doctrine uh, in the way that it informs our defense properly. And we believe that a proper Christian who reads and studies their word appropriately is able to defend their faith well. The world might say that to have faith is just to be a foolish person who doesn't understand what, what, the, world, what the world means or how it interacts or how it develops or how it works. But for a Christian, we know that the Bible agrees with science, that science agrees with our faith, and that our faith is something that can be rock solid, something that we can hold on to and we can believe. And that's what apologetics is all about. I challenge you to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, strength, mind, 
all of you, your entire body. So that way you can discover the beautiful excellencies as uh, the New Testament talks about of God. And that way you can be able to defend your faith more passionately, more strongly, and know for sure what you believe in.